The west coast of Florida offers a wide variety of natural treasures and culinary delights. If you lean in and look closely, you're sure to be surprised at what you'll find. Oh, we got a fish. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop it down, Terry. Here All we right. go. Give her a kiss, give her a kiss. I can't get it low. Oh, oh yeah. Big slam in there. <laughs> Any moment now, you're going to drift into a lifestyle, a mindset, a journey. The destination is the thin space where sky and water blend, where fantasy and adventure collide, and where the dream you follow is overtaken. We won't start without you on Discovering Water. Homosassa, from the seminal Indian word meaning river of fishes, as indeed it must have been and still is. This sleepy riverside village of about 2,000 souls started life as a sugar and molasses plantation, supporting the infant rum trade during the last of the 1800s. These days, Omasasa has quite a different footprint. You view life through the eyes of a world-renowned chef. You realize that there are potential ingredients for the next culinary masterpiece everywhere. We are here to find them. All it takes is a little bit of searching and some ingenuity. It never hurts to stop and smell the roses along the way though. You never know what you might run into when you keep your eyes wide open. Ah, look at those monkeys up there. They said that these monkeys were brought here originally in the 50s. They were used for polio vaccinations. Gotcha. And then they let them go in the wildlife park that's over here. They started attacking people and stealing stuff out of people's cars. So instead of killing them all, they put them on this island. So let's see if we can get them to come out. That's crazy good. Got a banana. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. These lucky primates seem happy enough. After all, they do have their very own tropical island and people feed them bananas all day. This bizarre little island really adds to the quirky flavor of this old school Florida small town. But we are here for another flavor. Just outside of the estuary is a small, tasty bivalve that Homosassa is world famous for. And we are on the hunt for them. It doesn't take long in the 34 Gulf Stream to get out to the grounds. What type of grounds, you ask? The scalloping grounds, of course. Well, Mr. Terry, we are here. Tyler, time to get some scallops? Yeah, we got some beautiful grass down there. It's perfect scallop habitat. They yeah. like to filter feed all the stuff out of the water down there, all the, all the plankton. Love this clean water. This grass is so lush. If you look down at it, it is just. There's like a giant salad down there. You can see the bottom. It's just pure grass for miles and miles around. There's got to be loads of scallops. Beautiful. So, Maybe we'll uh, see a few tarpon, some redfish swimming ooh, by us, too. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to get in there. Let's go do it. All up and down the west coast of Florida, wherever you find healthy grass flats, you're likely to find bay scallops. Just check your local regulations, throw on a mask and snorkel, and jump in. Or whatever this is. <laughs> Step one of collecting ingredients for Chef Terry's culinary masterpiece from the west coast of Florida, coming up. You'll love what's up next.
water has ever carried us across the farthest horizons, around the next bend, and down through the vast canyons and forests of exploration and adventure. Your spot on board is reserved. Take your best hold. The journey begins now. Discovering Water is brought to you by Gulfstream Yachts. Scalloping is a family-friendly activity where fun can be had by all. You don't have to be a master freediver or champion breath holder to go down and collect enough scallops for tonight's dinner. In an ecosystem as healthy and abundant as this one, it doesn't take long to collect all the scallops that you need. Now, a five-gallon bucket may look like a lot, but the edible portion of each one is actually quite small. However, it is very tasty, and that's why these animals have evolved the ability to jet propel themselves in an effort to evade predators. Rays, fish, crabs, you name it, everything loves eat a scallop, including animals like Chef Terry French. Tyler, this is just amazing. Isn't it? As They're everywhere down there. As a chef, and out of all the food that I love in the world, it's my most favorite ingredient. Oh, it's so good. And it's going to be as fresh as it gets, man. I'm coming from a pristine ecosystem. Beautiful. Look at that, huh? There you go. Oh. Reach in there and get that. Oh, man. What a guy. Ooh, that's got a little... Only for my buddy. extra on it. That right there. Mmm. That is as good as it gets, man. Save some of that for you, too. Oh, that's the best ever. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's call her a day and, and, and head on out. Let's go do it. Luckily, for this part of Florida, Homosassa has largely been overlooked by the runaway freight train of human progress and its encroachment into the natural world. It's what I would envision most of Florida would have looked like just a few decades ago. A slower pace of life, small mom and pop shops and fish markets, and most importantly, a healthy ecosystem that is largely untouched by the major man-made water quality issues plaguing most other parts of the state. Clean water equals good living. All right, success, Terry. Oh, it's been a great job, day. Buddy. We got some scallops. That was fun, huh? It's awesome. Awesome. See this right here, Tyler? Yeah. That's the row. Oh, yeah. Right inside there. Okay. And I would imagine that that's going to be a lot like uni and have the true flavor of the ocean, of the right? ocean yes, sir. right in there like fresh uni. A lot of people discard this, but I'm going to go full blown into it and see that just if I'm, I'm, I'm making it out okay. Not bad? Man, it's wonderful. I mean, you know, it, it's not as uh, sea bottomy as like you would get with uni. Mm -hmm. That it's actually, good. it's very good. It's sweet, just like the pat the it scallop is. itself. It's a, it's a little bit crispier of a texture. Well, you gotta see what kind of fish we're gonna catch tomorrow. Well, what kind of fish are we going after? It's all kinds of snappers and mackerels and grouper. I and mean, there's amberjack out there. It's they're in season right now. And I went to your restaurant, Umi. 
Right. I saw some Amberjack on the right. menu, sushi style. I've never tried Amberjack sushi before. I'd love to try it. Amberjack so. sashimi we have. We have the Hamachi Kama, which where we take the whole collar off so that oh, we're yeah. not wasting any part of the fish. Right. It's all about, for me, it's it's getting the whole fish, utilizing it to its fullest extent Absolutely. and respecting the fish. Absolutely. So with the collar, we take that and then we put yuzu butter and then grill it over benchatan charcoal at 1400 degrees. Then finish it off in the oven. Comes out with vegetables mm. and a little chimichurri over it and uh, washong sauce. Oh, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah, I mean, AJ is a very overlooked fish sometimes. You're like, oh, it's an amberjack. So they're, they're delicious, man. The meat's amazing. Uh, it's more for me, I guess. More All right, well, us, I'm right? looking forward to you putting me on them tomorrow right. and seeing where Let's they go. are. Discovering Water is brought to you by Gulfstream Yachts. Not too far from Homosassa is a very special place. One of Florida's gems. So special in fact that I decided to call this place home. With one of America's top rated beaches to the west and Tampa Bay to the south and east, St. Petersburg, Florida is nearly surrounded by water. There's something about water that tends to mellow people out. Maybe that's why the people here in St. Pete seem to be a little more relaxed than some other parts of Florida. Plus, between Tampa Bay and the reefs, ledges, and wrecks just offshore in the Gulf of Mexico, there's an incredible variety of fishing opportunities to be had. It's just a matter of baiting up and picking out your favorite spot. Although, Everybody knows that some spots are better than others, especially these little guys. My good buddy, master diver, and owner of Off the Wall Adventures, TJ Conitzer, knows the gulf like the back of his hand. He and his crew aboard the Reef Predator have a few favorite spots they want to show us as well. Time to go get them. All right, Terry, we are here in my home waters off of St. Pete, and this is one of my favorite spots. It's like a 350 foot long bar, just on the bottom, upside down. There's all sorts of species from uh, amberjack, all sorts of groupers and snappers, mackerels, even the big goliath grouper are down there running around. So we're gonna throw some chum in the water. We got some live bait and dead baits and a chum block, kind of get everything stirred up and running around. Try and catch a few fish up on top first, and then I'm gonna put the scuba gear on and go down and see if we can't shoot something for you to cook up later. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Let's get this party started. All right, brother, let's, let's go get them. It. They're out there. All right, yeah, take that jig and just kind of you throw it over there on the wreck, Cut. bounce it around, see if we can't get uh, something, a little bonus fish before we get the action popping here. I've seen some flying fish hopping around already today. Yeah, I saw them on the corner. See my them? Eye. Yep, yep, they're out there. Just I'm pop it really it. hard, real, super fast and aggressive. I got a lot of faith in you, Tyler. <laughs> Oh, we got a fish on. Okay, crazy. I don't know what it is. Hope it's something good. It's kind of just sitting there. I had a live bait sitting out there on a flat line, just sitting on the, on the surface. Something picked it up. I have no idea what it is. I'm thinking it's probably a big Spanish mackerel. What is it? What you got, Tyler? It's a little barracuda. A little barracuda. Nicely done. Okay. They cook them up in the Bahamas. They do, and I've actually had them. They're it's quite not good. Bad. People, they smell bad when you catch them, but yeah. I'll tell you what we're going to do with this guy. So I've got a plan for him. That's a, that's a good size. What you got planned? I've got a plan for this guy. He's pretty. I've got, I've got uh, 
the biggest hook you've ever seen and a piece of rope. And we're going to drop this guy down there and see if we can't catch a big old Goliath right off the bat here. Sounds good. I guarantee you that down there. Look at the chompers on this little thing. So they've got those those front teeth, and you know, those are for the grabbing. And then if you look back in his mouth a little bit, it's like a serrated knife blade. So they'll just swim super fast and just swim right into the whatever fish you're trying to catch and cut it right in half with those. You don't want to get too close, but right Not in there. Yeah, see I can right see right that. There? Yeah. The front teeth grab and the back teeth cut like a serrated knife. Gotcha. I know people don't really eat these in the States, but have you ever cooked these anywhere else? I know in the Bahamas they do and throughout a lot of part of the Caribbean. I've never really had the chance to cook a, cook a barracuda yeah. up. I never had a time where we throwing back because we yeah. going for the better meat yeah, fish. Yeah. But uh, I've, I, you know what? I've, I've had them. It's actually not, it's really good. It's really white and flaky meat, but you don't want to eat them out here because they, ha they have a chance of getting ciguatera, which is a neurological disease that'll paralyze them. It'll shut you down, make you really you, sick. You've had it I've had twice. it a couple times. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, you don't, definitely don't want to go through that again. All right, Terry, we got enough bait. I'm going to go see what's go down there, assess the situation, put the scuba gear on, and uh, I know there's more than barracuda down there. Let's do that. Yeah, I know. There's some big boys. It's always a good idea to dive with a dive buddy. That rule is especially true when you're diving with a number of gigantic fish, all with bad attitudes and an insatiable appetite. Some of these fish are bigger than you and me combined. And when you're on their turf, they're not scared to take a swipe at you every now and then. All of the other residents of the reef know to give plenty of headway and constantly watch their back with so many Goliaths lurking in the shadows. Goliath grouper, that is. These behemoths can exceed weights of 800 pounds. It's even been said that large Goliath grouper are responsible for a number of human deaths after they inhaled someone and ate them. But luckily, they haven't eaten all the fish on this reef. When a perfect eating size target species appears out of the gloom, and you have a world-renowned chef and Terry French on the boat. Don't hesitate when it's time to take that shot. We've got one more spot to hit, then this fish is going to be the guest of honor back on shore for dinner tonight. Give her a kiss, give her a kiss. Oh, oh yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You weren't expecting it, but you blinked, and you were there, thin space, where all the horizons of your life align, expand, and collide in instant clarity. The thin space is something that we are all searching for. It's that moment in time that all of a sudden the natural world intersects with almost the supernatural, and you can feel it. Everything slows down in that moment, and you're at one with yourself and your surroundings. And in St. Pete, it was when I got to dive this wreck that I had fished hundreds of times in the past, but never dove in to see what was going on. And I get down there into this wreck, and it is absolutely chock full of these massive Goliath grouper, one of the biggest fish in the ocean. But you get down there in them, one of the biggest ones, just surrounded by bait fish. And it was amazing just to see how they are interacting with themselves down there in their own habitat. It's very special. Discovering Water is brought to you by Gulfstream Yachts. All right, Terry, we're going to take this barracuda and I'm going to butterfly him. What that means, I'm going to fillet him all the way down on one side yep. and just leave it right there so the skin so you get this flat. Okay. The Goliaths can't, can't handle that. When Looks like a kite. There, I mean, it's, they got to eat it. It's like so, a kite hanging over their head. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that right now. Lay them 
all the way down, nice and juicy. That's probably, that's more than enough. Groupers. So now we got this big flap like that. It's gonna be dangling and just tantalizing these big goliaths down there. I'm gonna hook him right here, right in the middle. That way if he bites it and tries to pull out of his mouth, you get a good hookup. He pretty much just like breathe it in, right? They're not oh, biting it, it just, just comes in and goes oh, right in their mouth and nibble. just closes. He's gonna eat the whole oh, yeah. thing. All right, so that's our bait. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop it down, Terry. Here we go. All right, let's go to war. <laughs> And one thing you don't want to do is get tangled up no. in this mess. All right. You know they're down there, Terry. I saw them. Well, let's see where they're at. All right. Now, what we're going to wait for, this line's going to go like this. Boom. Right. When they, when they hit it. What we're going to do, you're going to go like that, wrap it around that cleat, and then walk it back up here and wrap it around this cleat. That way, he can't go down anymore. Oh, OK. That's smart. Yeah. Because if you do this and you get wrapped up in it, of course, you're going in. Yep. I know they're down there, Terry. I know they're down there. Okay. Just whether or not they're going to eat our food or not. This bait just got to the bottom. Come on, fishy, fishy. Ooh, OK. OK. You got one? Hold on. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Hit. He's there. Here's it. Take right. him. Pull him. Going mano y mano with the largest grouper species in the world is no joke. It takes pure brawn and willpower to wench these real-life sea monsters up from the depths. You got him. The Where is he? There he is, up. right there. He's underneath the boat. Awesome. Right on nice. side. Nice. Look at the size of that thing, huh? Whoa. Well, I'll tell you what. There was enough of them down there when we were diving. There were so many just running around in that wreck. I knew it was only a matter of time. This there is you. a big boy. That is a big boy right there. Why don't you reach down in there and give her a kiss, Terry? Oh, yeah. Come in. Oh, you're going to get it. Come in, baby. <laughs> She's mad. Give her oh. a kiss. Give her a kiss. I can't get it low. Oh, oh yeah. Big slam in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's the wettest kiss I've ever had in my life. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Oh, my God. All right. Let's get this hook out of this big All girl right. and let her, Send her, let her go. Home. All right, Terry, there she goes, man. Oh, man. That was, that that? was just awesome. Good okay. job, dude. Great job, Tyler. Thanks, right. brother. With the reef monster back in its lair, it's time to get back to civilization and enjoy some of the best of what the West Coast of Florida has to offer. What better way to do so than to dine on locally harvested food at a true icon of the Gulf Coast? The Don Cesar Hotel. This legendary pink palace of St. Pete Beach has been a mafia hangout, World War II hospital, and it continues to this day to be one of the most luxurious resorts in the area. You know that your food is going to be fresh when it gets delivered to the Don Cesar straight out of the ocean by paddleboard. Now that all the necessary ingredients have been collected and are in their place, it's time to let Chef Terry French apply his magic. Respecting the fish and the environment that it came from means not letting anything go to waste. In this day and age, we cannot afford it. With all of that in mind, a culinary masterpiece begins to emerge at the fingertips of Chef Terry French. Enjoying this meal in this place embodies the essence of the West Coast of Florida. It's only fair to share such a pleasure with good friends and family. Bon appetit, everyone.